Hello and welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the roundup of all the goals in the Northern Premier League. We start with a clash at the bottom between two sides yet to pick up any points over two games. Baseford United were unable to score in midweek here against League Town, but they struck early through Ashley Chambers' second of the season. The hosts finished only one place above the relegation zone last year and were second bottom in the goal scoring charts. The goals were flowing here however as Jordan Hallam crashed one in off the post before the hour mark to double their advantage. A late corner flicked in at the back post just minutes from time all but confirmed that Martin Crother's side were due the three points as Kane Richardson scored his first goal since returning to the club. He wasn't done there though, as he latched onto the end of a Casey Butterfield cross to put the cherry on the top of an emphatic win that lifted them up to 14th. Mop of Town still searching for their first point of the season. Ilkston were on their travels for the second time this week. They were unable to make it maximum points on the road after winning at Michelover though, as Declan Evans poking home from a corner gave FC United the lead. They were able to snatch a late point though, after Thomas Curzons tapped home late from a pitcher perfect cross to ensure Ilkston stayed unbeaten through three games. Not much separated games for Trinity and Ashton United last season, with both sides finishing just outside the playoffs. There was only one goal in it when the two faced off two, as Darius Assay's header from the corner meant two wins in a week for the Robins after they came from three down against Warrington Rylands on Tuesday. Macclesfield, they look to continue their winning start against Geisley, and your commentary for this one comes from the home side. And it's put into the back of the net by Thulis. Ekpolo creating it with some lovely footwork. Let's take this one, John Rooney. Takes it short, catches out Geisley here, and his Pendleton pulls it back. Flick back. Oh, it's it's a lovely goal. It's going beyond him. Really out wide. Right on the edge of the box. Cuts in five. Cuts the ball towards back post. Curran is there. Can't quite get there. It's going to fall to Johnson right on the far side of the box. Curran leaves it for. Whitehead, Whitehead for Curler. Oh, but it's Hodgett that got in. It is Elliot finishes. Macclesfield lead. A nice break. Benson right back. Young left back. Here's a chance, Claire, to run onto this one. The long ball does seem to have the pace as well. Claire takes it. Oh, oh it's a great finish by Tom Claire. I did not think he'd have the pace to get onto that one. Oh, but he does so. He holds up the defender. Hyde United are aiming to go one better this season after last season's sixth place finish and finishing the playoffs. They travel to a Matlock side and yet to score this season. An unlikely goal from an unlikely goal scorer as Joel Amadou's 30 yard strike wrong footed Rogan Ravenhill in the Matlock goal to open the scoring after 10 minutes. It remained 1 0 at half time, but the second half proves to be the Jack Redshaw show. He doubled the away side's advantage early in the second half after a calm finish from the edge of the box after the ball was worked down the left side. It was deja vu 20 minutes later, Hyde United working defence into attack again down this left hand side. Redshaw latched onto the long ball to make it two for the afternoon for him with an identical finish from an identical position. And all that was left to do was complete his hat-trick, which he did two minutes later. His relationship with the far post grew stronger as he made it four for the season and 4-0 on the scoreboard. <laughs> Nicky Law's side did grab themselves a consolation through Sam Essien. As the ball was given away cheaply at the back by the Hyde United defence. It's their first goal of the season, 
but it's in a result that sends them down to 20th ahead of Tuesday's trip to Blakesop Town. Two 1 0 wins for Hebburn Town in their opening two games had them on the up as they travelled to Mickelover. Captain Amar Perwall had to wait three games to get off the mark for the season as he stabbed home from close range to open the scoring at the Donamot Arena. And after he was fouled in the box 15 minutes from time, he made no mistake in securing his brace. It's three games, three wins, and three clean sheets for the newly promoted side. Two more newly promoted sides went at it at the weekend, as Stockton Town looked to make it three wins from three. Your commentary comes from Stockton. Drives it down the field looking for Michael Fowler, headed away by Scott Moore, headed forward by Stephen Thompson, chested on by Cam Bainer. Oh, what a club it is! It's in the back of the net! Stockton Town have the lead! What an absolute calamity that was! That's from goal, put in by Butterworth all the way to the back stick, headed into the air by Digboo. Back. Stephen Thompson, low volley on goal! Second. What a shot by Stephen Thompson, he won. Lays it off for Smith. Put it through for Elliot. Elliot lays it back to Smith. Outside of the foot pass, Elliot's through on goal. Can he get the shot away? He puts it away, that's a good finish from Elliot. And Prescott have a goal back. In the Carvery. Dancing around. Here's Newell. On the left hand side, low ball finds Ben Elliott, edge of the box, the cross now Foley, further on, Gilboy crossing to the box, oh it's gone into the back stick, Prescott a level, 2-2. Two -two. Oh yeah, I finally established that it was Murphy that didn't start the game, I was wondering, I just thought I'd heard his, said his name at all throughout the game, yet Murphy came out for him, Denny, puts the ball into the box, now Painter's in on goal, it's a goal for Stockton, Cam Painter scores it, the ball all the way down the field, and it reached Cam Painter, and he puts it away. Warrington Rylands lost a seven goal thriller in midweek against Ashton United, and looked to bounce back against Whitby Town. They were unable to score in this one, however, and an audacious lob from Joseph Gibson condemned last season's playoff semi finalists to a third straight defeat to begin the season. They travel to Lancaster City on Tuesday. And Leek Town picked up their first win of the season in midweek against Baseford. They took the lead early at Workington after Oliver Harrison turned out of nothing and fired into the bottom corner. Workington equalised not long after, after a defensive mishap at the back and a loose pass was worked over to Davian Simington who fired in his first of the season. A one all draw still leaves the horse chasing their first win of the campaign as Leek Town move on to four points. 